Uh, do, you have a piece, daily survey. do you have a piece of furniture that you wish looked new again? Lisa is in Loomis this morning with somebody who will not only refinish your piece, but can teach you how to do it as well. You know, teach a man to fish, right? There it is. Mm. Exactly. Okay, you know, I love this so much because you know how I'm a crafty one, right? Okay, look how cute this barn is. This is like basically her craft room, and I love it. It is your business uh, that started as a hobby. This is Kimberly with Born in a Barn. Good morning to you. Good morning. I, I Seriously, it is, first of all, so cute and so clean for a craft, craft room. <laughs> I try. I try to keep it clean oh, and organized. Oh, my goodness. I love it. So you take old pieces and give them new life again. I do. And it really did. It started as a hobby. It did. It started as a hobby almost nine years ago. Yeah. And this is how they come in. Uh huh. So they're generally... which aren't even bad. They're just old. They've had some life on. They've got some life on. Them. Yes, exactly. So they come in like this, and people can either purchase them and customize them, uh -huh. or I do them to sell them. Okay. So yeah. They... And then this is how they go out. And this is how they go out. And what you're looking at here is a combination of pieces that are for sale currently, mm -hmm. and also customer pieces to be picked up. And so you have kind of taken them apart, repainted them, yep. maybe changed the fixtures, yep. um, and then kind of redone the tops as well. You guys, look at this color right over here. Like, I am just totally loving this. Isn't it beautiful? Like a navy. All right. And then how about this top? Loving this. And this is something that you're kind of known for, the, the ombre looking uh, yes. top. The blend. Yes. So, um, yes, I've been doing this for years. It kind of happened by accident. Yeah. And then I just started crafting it and making it better and better yeah. and now I'm using my very own Born in a Barn boutique gel stains. What? So, yeah. Look at this. How cool is that you guys? Yeah. So last late last year I started to work with a company Lily Moon Paint and they asked me if I wanted to collaborate with them to create my own gel stains. So we created these gel stain colors which are pretty much the ones I use yeah. all the time to create this look. Um, they've got my little logo on them. I created the names. They are amazing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So cool to see your logo on that, right? It was so exciting. <laughs> I know. Most people would be like, oh, great, you have gel stain. But it's such an honor to yeah. have something where you're so proud of it, and it's just amazing, and I love it. That's I absolutely so awesome. love it. Yeah. All right, so in here is where she does most of the work. So you can see those are pieces that are in progress. And then over here, you guys look at this little staging area I mean how cute is this right you mentioned that she will teach you how to do it yes she does you do have all kinds of on like online classes where people can learn how to do this how did you learn how to do this self-taught and so now you're teaching everybody else yes because I always said to myself I would share the information when I learned how to do this by basically just trial and error I figured I'm gonna document this and I'm gonna share this one day with yeah. people so they don't struggle right yeah because they struggle to learn how to do everything from a process or a technique to how to sell it yeah and so I have documented that over the years I've created online courses and classes that are available on my website yeah. And then I teach one-on-ones as well. And I've taught all over the world, which is really cool. Yeah. And we were talking about, like, you know, these old pieces that come in, you know, they don't make this kind of furniture anymore. No. The quality that you get today versus the quality that you used to get. So I love to specialize in buying the vintage pieces. Yeah. You know, pieces anywhere from, I've got antique pieces from the early 1800s to pieces that are done in the 50s and 60s. Yeah. And but just give them new life. Give them new life. Yeah. Yeah. Why and it, they end up being amazing. And it's not hard to do. Yeah. The thing is, most people are intimidated to do it, and I love to re uh, refinish people's furniture, but I also want to make sure, like, I want to teach somebody, yeah. if you want to do it, go for it. You know what? New year, new you. Take on a new hobby. Learn how to redo that furniture piece that you've been staring at, telling yourself, I need to do something with that. <laughs> Kimberly is here to help you out. It is called... Born in a barn. That is the coolest name. Uh, and again, she is right here in our area. You can find all her info on our website, which we've linked up. GoodDaySacramento.com.